Time now, 6.43, fall means fun at Wild Adventures in Valdosta. And not only are the temperatures a little bit cooler, but there are some cool new things to see at the park. We've got Adam Floyd here along with Elka Schultz, both of them from Wild Adventures to tell us a little bit about it. Good morning, welcome to our studio. Thank you for coming in. Good morning, thanks for having us. Yes, we are kicking off our second year of Great Pumpkin Luminites at Wild Adventures. We're about three weeks in, it's a fantastic family friendly event that features hundreds of carved pumpkins, towering pumpkin sculptures, amazing treats, and even Georgia's largest pumpkin foam party. So it's a lot of fun for, for families and uh, kids of all ages. And you guys have some giant pumpkins that you mentioned. We've got some pretty cool pumpkins here. These look, I, I you know, I think I might recognize one or two yeah, of these there's, faces. Yeah, there's a little bit of, you know, likenesses here, but uh, we, we've worked with a famous pumpkin carver. His name's Jim, uh, Jim Morey. He's from Huntington Beach, California. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's gonna be at the park this Saturday and Sunday uh, showing off a demonstration of his skills. But we wanted to bring uh, these to you all this morning so you can see firsthand uh, uh, what, what he can do. And I, I got to say, there is some fantastic artwork here. Uh, this one shares a likeness with our first to know meteorologist, Elizabeth Copeland. You might be able to tell there this one. I, I don't know who that is. You know, that, well, they, they do I, look better in the dark. You know, you can kind of see behind us wait, in the daytime. Wait, me, it's a little see odd. If, I, if I can if I can pick this up, let's see <laughs> if we can put this this over here. Uh, do you guys can you all tell who? Can y'all, is there, yeah, that might be, that might be It looks me. familiar. It might, could possibly, <laughs> could possibly be me. Um, we've got some photos of that in the background. What else can people expect when they come out to Luminites? Well, we also have uh, Georgia's and the country's only large scale celebration of pumpkin spice. So the Pumpkin Spice Festival is coming back for its third year and it is really the perfect complement to round out your fall fun experience. Uh -huh. We have a ton of returning items, um, over 20, uh, fall flavor treats and uh, some of those are returning like the mighty uh, pumpkin colossal shake which is this huge milkshake it's beautiful with a piece of pumpkin pie on top of it oh. um, my personal favorite are the um, pumpkin spice maple pulled pork barbecue loaded fries and <laughs> That's it's a, a mouthful, mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> it is a mouthful but it is so delicious it's uh, sweet and tangy with warm notes of cinnamon and pumpkin spice flavors. And we also have a lot of new treats coming on uh, this year as well. So um, one that's going over super well is the um, pumpkin spice maple bacon funnel cake. Oh, I'm always and that about one is as good as it cake. Sounds. I would try <laughs> that for sure. Look like I saw some churros up there too. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the best way to um, taste your way through all these fall flavors is by grabbing a Pumpkin Spice Festival passport. Okay, yeah. we'll get some information about that on the website. I do want to ask about the Oasis Outpost. Oh, that's a very exciting development. Just a couple weeks ago, we announced a brand new expansion to Wild Adventures, uh, three acres of family fun. Uh, that's going to kick off when we open up for our 2023 season uh, in March. Of course, you can go ahead and prepare for that by getting the season pass now and uh, come back and join us in March where we'll have a brand new ride where families can take their little ones, put them behind the wheel, uh, where they get to drive into an exhibit uh, to uh, learn a little bit more about cicada tortoises. We'll have a new restaurant, four new animal exhibits, including porcupines uh, from Africa, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. All right. You know, parents, when you heard, when the kids heard that they were going to be able to get behind the wheel, they're going to be bugging you for those tickets. So you're going to want to go ahead and get those. The Pumpkin Spice Festival and the Great Pumpkin Luminize runs from September 23rd through October 30th, and it promises to be loads of fun, lots to get involved in, lots to do, lots to see, lots to taste. It's going to be great. I might have to head up there myself. You guys, thank you so much. Erica, Adam, Elka, Adam, for joining us this thank morning. You. Thank you.